During the raid into the Kursk region, the liberation movement of Ukraine managed to break through two lines of defense that the Russians had built over 2.5 years of war, spending 15 billion rubles. It took about a day. It should be noted that clashes are already taking place on the territory of Sudza, and Russian troops have lost control of the roads around the city. The Russians also say that the Ukrainian armed forces have allegedly already approached the village of Koronivo, located around 30 kilometers out of the Ukrainian border. The Russian media agents Vo reports that the territory allegedly occupied by Ukrainian forces already covers 350 square kilometers. Meanwhile, the so-called Russian military commanders write about the advance of Ukrainian forces both to the northwest and southeast along the highway. Analysts say that, the Ukrainian armed forces captured more than 40 Russian soldiers at the Sudza checkpoint. The Rybar Telegram Channel, which is close to the Russian Ministry of Defense, claims that, Ukrainian formations have occupied the western half of Sudza, taken control of the roads around the city, and that there are small arms battles in the city itself, including on the eastern outskirts. The propaganda outlet Ryadovka also reports on fighting in Kazakhyalochnia, north of Sudza. The Russian opposition outlet Medusa, citing one of the pro-war channels critical of the Russian Defense Ministry, writes that, the Ukrainian armed forces have approached Koronivo. Rybar also reports on fighting on the outskirts of the village. Koronivo is located 30 kilometers from the border with Ukraine, with a population of about 5,000 people. Meanwhile, Russians say that they cannot contact the 112, a number for calling emergency services. This number is used to report emergencies and to get advice on how to behave in an emergency. The Russian media Astra writes that relatives of residents in the Kursk region say that the line is either down or intermittent. Russian telegram channel stated that the Ukrainian armed forces occupied the settlements of Nikolaevo Darino, Darino and Sverdlakovo in the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region. As Astra writes with reference to several Z resources, the difficult situation remains in the Sudzansky district. In the northwestern sector, the Ukrainian armed forces units allegedly occupied the settlements of Nikolaevo Darino, Darino and Sverdlakovo. The line of control on the Rylsk Sudza highway is not known for certain. According to the Russians, the Ukrainian armed forces were allegedly able to expand the control zone along the 38K-004 highway to the southeast, advancing in the direction of the western suburb of Sudza, Goncharovka. According to unconfirmed information, fighting continues in the settlement. The tense situation remains in the village of Aleshnya, there, Russian servicemen are almost completely surrounded and are engaged in fierce battles with countless enemies. According to preliminary information, there are up to 400 members of Ukrainian formations in the territory of the Kursk region controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces, the channel writes. The Russians also claim that the Ukrainian command allegedly continues to transfer reserves. The publics also stated that a large concentration of Ukrainian formations is recorded in Unikovka, from where they are heading through Basovka to Sverdlakovo or towards Goncharovka. The Rybar channel claims that the Ukrainian Armed Forces Command has concentrated up to 2,000 members of Ukrainian formations along the border. This information is partially confirmed by the Operational Summaries channel. Meanwhile, the number of publications in Kursk public pages and channels is growing, asking to find and help evacuate relatives from populated areas who, according to local residents, have been left without communication. Some channels admit that in some areas of the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces have advanced 15 kilometers deep. They have captured not only infantry, but also artillery, armored vehicles, and drones. 
11 settlements were occupied by Ukrainians. Planes can't fly like yesterday, because the Ukrainian air defense system works better.